Hi dear traders, the past trading week shortened due to the Thanksgiving holiday celebrated in the US witnessed a deep in overall market activity. This reduction was felt across the spectrum of financial markets largely because of a significant portion of transactions involve American intermediaries such as banks, brokers and dealers. Despite the shorter week, many assets still managed to yield profits, with the U.S. stock market closing their week on a positive note. Investors continue to assess the Federal Reserve's monetary policy outlook, particularly in relation to the U.S. dollar. Tuesday saw the release of the minutes from the latest Federal Reserve meeting, which still contained hints of a hawkish stance. However, the majority of traders are convinced that the U.S. central bank's interest rate has peaked, with speculation now centered on when the first rate cut will occur. Reflecting such sentiments, the U.S. dollar weakened with the U.S. dollar index, which tracks the dollar against the basket of six other major currencies, falling by 0.39% last week. This marks the second consecutive week of losses for the dollar. The dollar's weak appeal to investors allowed the euro to reach a three-month high. Additionally, some voices within the European Central Bank have started advocating for continued interest rate hikes. Recent reports from the Eurozone Central Bank indicate a desire to maintain their potential for tightening monetary policy. However, economic data points to a weakening economy and a reasonable slowdown in inflation rates, prompting the ECB to reconsider such aggressive and hawkish remarks. The market remains highly sensitive to any verbal interventions from the central bank officials, which has allowed the dollar-euro pair to strengthen, surpassing the 1.0930 mark. Meanwhile, the British pound saw a successful trading week, particularly against the U.S. dollar. By the end of the weekly session, it tested the 1.26 level against the greenback. The UK's business activity report surpassed negative forecasts, bolstering optimism for the British currency and expectations of a more hawkish stance from the Bank of England. Hugh Peel, the Bank of England's chief economist, emphasized the necessity for the central bank to stand firm in its fight against inflation, further fueling positive sentiment towards the pound. Investors would welcome similar hawkish rhetoric from the Bank of Japan. However, despite inflation ex ex exceeding uh, target levels, the Bank of Japan's interest rate remains unchanged in negative territory. This strategy aims to support local businesses. Meanwhile, macroeconomic reports show that Japan's overall, overall inflation rate accelerated to 3.3% in October, up from 3% in September, marking the highest price growth rate since July. Preliminary data also indicates that Japan's business activity showed to an 11-month low in November, reflecting ongoing weakness in the manufacturing sector. In the commodities market, gold has made a notable comeback, reaching $2,000 per troy ounce. The movement of gold prices is closely tied to the anticipated changes in the Federal Reserve's monetary policy. The current demand for the precious metal suggests a widespread belief that there will be no further hikes in interest rates. On the other hand, oil traders are concerned about disagreements among APEC Plus members, a dis dispute over production quotas between Saudi Arabia and some African countries, notably Angola and Nigeria, led to the postponement of meeting to November 30th. Traders are not ruling out the possibility that Saudi Arabia might abandon voluntary supply cuts and increase production, potentially leading to an oversupply and a consequent drop in oil prices. A similar situation happened during the pandemic. In addition to concerns about changes in oil supply volumes, Brent crude prices are also influenced by the de-escalation of the Israel-Palestinian conflict. The likelihood of this conflict escalating into a broader Arab-Israel confrontation seems low. 
This is why and prison exchange have injected a degree of optimism into the market, helping them to stabilize oil prices around the key level of $80 per barrel. These are the trends of the last trading week. Do not miss our daily news reports to be always in touch with the latest events. See you!